Hi, this is Clickety Brickety, and this is all of the sets releasing in January of 2024. Before we get into the list, we have some Chinese New Year sets, starting with Spring Festival Mickey Mouse for $10. This set looks good with the detail on the front, and on the back he has a tail. The next set is the Festive Calendar for $30. I really like the idea and the build, it looks like you get a bunch of printed pieces and two main figures. The next set is the Auspicious Dragon for $90. Again, a bunch of printed pieces and it looks like a great model. The final set is the Family Reunion Celebration for $130. This set looks awesome and it has 1,823 pieces and 13 minifigures. Alright, the first theme is LEGO City, and the first set is the Police Car and Muscle Car Chase for $20. The Police Car looks cool and I like this set. The next set is the Fire Station with Fire Truck for $80. This is a cool design for a fire station, and this set comes with 5 minifigures and a cute dog. To go with this, you have the Fire Rescue Helicopter for $10. The helicopter looks good, and it's a good price. The next set is the Construction Seam Roller for $10. This set looks good, and goes well with the other construction vehicles. The next set is the Police Speedboat and Crooks Hideout for $35. This set is a good building, and it has the cutest dog ever. The next set is the Green Race Car for $10. Another good set that goes well with the regular race car. The next set is the Police Mobile Crime Lab for $55. The truck itself is actually a very good model, and the set has 5 accurate minifigures and 674 pieces. The next set is the Burger Truck for $20. This wave of sets is actually very good. This set is a great food truck, and I like the minifigures. The next set is the Emergency Ambulance and Snowboarder for $20. This set is a little weird, but the Snowboarder has a helmet and a hairpiece. This other set, the Emergency Rescue Helicopter for $20, goes well with the last one. Another good helicopter, and I really like this set. The next set is a part of the Giant Space collab happening in 2024. It is the Command Rover and Crane Loader for $85. It's a good set, and the set includes some cool minifigures. The next set is a really cool one, it's the Modular Space Station for $109. This set looks awesome, and the modules are separable. The next set is the Police Prison Island for $100. This set includes 980 pieces and 7 minifigures and 1 doggo. The next set is the Space Base and Rocket Launch Pad for $135. This set looks like a tower control for space, and the set comes with 1,422 pieces and 6 minifigures, some aliens, and a robot. The next set is the Space Explorer Rover and Alien Light for $35. It has a weird name and a good model, and the rover has suspension. The next set is the Go-Karts and Race Drivers for $10. It has a bunch of cool details and some cool minifigs. The next set is the Blue Monster Truck for $16. It looks like if Ford made a monster truck. The next set is the Race Car and Car Carrier Truck for $30. The models look amazing, and I like this guy's hat. The next set is the 4x4 Fire Truck with Rescue Boat for $35. This set comes with with a tent, a fire truck, and a rescue boat. The next set is the fire rescue plane for $55. The plane looks good and they have a paraglider? The next set is the interstellar spaceship for $20. The design looks good and the main figure also looks good. The next set is the fire rescue motorcycle for $10. This set has a person with the biggest fire ever and a motorcycle with a fire hose. The next set is the spaceship and asteroid discovery for $20. The main figures have leg printing which is unusual for city sets, but overall the set is good. The next set is the sailboat for $20. This is a great set as we get a sailboat for a cheap price, and the main figures even have life jackets. The final set is the space construction mech for $11. The mech looks good and it even has the old space logo. The next theme is classic, and the first set is the creative space plans for $35. This seems like a good deal and ties into the big space collaboration happening in 2024. The next set is the creative pets for $35. Has the same amount of pieces as the earlier one and the pets are cute. The next set is the Creative Vehicles for $55, has a good amount of pieces, and the vehicles are cute. The next set is the Creative Houses for $55, it has less pieces than the other one, but the pieces are bigger. The LEGO Creator 3-1 Wave looks like a great one, with the first set being the Wild Safari Animals for $65. This looks like a great set with this giant realistic giraffe and flamingo for the first build, a lion and a butterfly for the second, and a mother gazelle and a baby gazelle for the third. The next set is the Red Dragon for $10. It has some pretty cool techniques and pieces. Next is the Flatbed Truck with Helicopter for $20. This set looks cool but I think the next set looks a lot cooler. It is the Retro Camera for $20. Funny thing is that the LEGO Polaroid camera is releasing on the same day as this one. This set offers some pretty cool techniques and the third build is a camcorder. 
The next set is the flowers and the watering can for $30. This set looks pretty cool and looks like a great model. The next set is the space astronaut for $55. This set looks awesome with a stand for the astronaut and the third build is Astro Puppy. The next set is the exotic peacock for $20. This set has a lot of pieces and the peacock looks good. The next set is the tropical ukulele for $30. It has a nice ukulele in a light blue color and some flowers. The next set is the Retro Roller Skate for $30, the same color as the ukulele with light pink wheels. You can also buy two to have a pair. The final set of the wave is the Hamster Wheel for $30. This looks like a fun playset and the hamsters are cute. The next theme is Disney, and the first set is Elsa's Frozen Castle for $45. Probably should have been $40, but it looks like a pretty fun playset. The next set is Elsa's Frozen Treats for $16. Looks like a good build and some cool colors. The next set is the Disney Princess Market Adventure for $100. Should have been $80, but it looks like a fun set. The next set is Belle's Storytime Horse Carriage for $16. Looks like a $10 set or max $15, but I like the horse. The next set is Rapunzel's Tower and the Snuggly Duckling for $85. It doesn't look like an $85 set, but it looks like a pretty good playset. The next set is Mini Disney Ariel's Castle for $40. This set looks pretty cool and goes well with the others. The next theme is Duplo, and I'm going to go over these really fast because there's a lot. The first set is the Daily Routines Eating in Bedtime for $30. The next set is the Alphabet Truck for $40. Next, Visit to the Vet Clinic for $20. Animal Train for $20. Big Feelings and Emotions for $30. Caring for Bees and Beehives for $20. Caring for Animals at the Farm for $50. Daily Routines Bath Time for $10. Bring One Space Shuttle Adventure for $60. And Buildable People with Big Emotions for $50. The next theme is Friends, and the first set is the Heart Lake City Shopping Mall for $120. I'm not personally a big fan of this set, but it has 1,237 pieces and 7 mini dolls. The next set is Andrea's Modern House for $200. I think this is a really cool house and uses a lot of cool colors and techniques. I also think the car is nice too. The next set is Ollie and Paisley's Family Houses for $100. I think these houses look good but probably should be $80. The next set is Heart Lake City Hospital for $110. It looks like a good price and it comes with a lot of mini dolls. The next set is the Popstar Music Tour Bus for $85. Feels like a $60 set, but looks like it has a lot of cool details and pieces. The next set is the Mars Space Base and Rocket for $80. It looks cool and like the old space sets. The next set is the Vintage Fashion Store for $45. Probably should have been at most $40, and the mini dolls are cool like this one. The next set is the Heart Lake City Music Talent Show for $65. Looks like a cool set with a lot of cool pieces and different colors. The next set is the Farm Animal Sanctuary for $55. This is actually a pretty cool playset and comes with a lot of animals. The next set is Pet Adoption Day for $45. I think it should have been $35, but it does come with a lot of mini dolls. Next set is the Hot Dog Food Truck for $20. I actually like the hot dog shaped truck, and I think it's funny they included a burnt hot dog. Next is the Hamster Playground for $20. This set is pretty cool, and I like the hamsters. Next is the Heart Lake City Hospital Ambulance for $35. This set is pretty good, and I like that the hospital symbols are the same. Next is their stargazing camping vehicle for $30. I actually think it's a good deal and includes a tent which is awesome. The next set is the mobile bakery food cart for $11. Should have been $10 but I like the actual food cart. Next is the karaoke music party for $20. The set includes some pretty cool pieces and colors. Next is the cat playground adventure for $11. I like the idea and the mini dolls are cool. Next is the horse and pony trailer for $20. I think it's a good deal and I like the animals. The tiny accessories store for $11 is next and I think it's pretty cool and I like the accessories. Next is the farm animal vet clinic for $30. Pretty good and I like the cool pieces included. Next is Autumn's Baby Cow Shed for $11. I like the cow and the cleaning station. Finally, we have the electric car and charger for $16. I like the mini dolls and the electric car charger. The next theme is LEGO Ideas, and the only set is the Polaroid camera for $80. The set looks good, and I love that LEGO is doing more stuff like this. This set includes the Polaroid camera, photos, and a film container. The next theme is Jurassic World, and the first set is the Dinosaur Fossils T-Rex Skull for $40. I think this is a great recreation of the T-Rex Skull, and it says Dinosaur Fossils in the name, which leads me to believe that they could release more than just this one. The next set is the Baby Dinosaur Rescue Center for $40. This set includes 5 dinosaurs and a hatching egg. I do wish they would do more Jurassic Park sets though. The next theme is LEGO Art. The first set is the Fauna Collection, McCall Parrots for $60. This set looks good and it has a lot of good pieces. 
The next theme is Lego Dreams, and the first set is Sandman's Tower for $90. Probably should have been $60, but it looks cool. The next set is Mr. Oz's Space Car for $30. Another Space Collab set, and it comes with 3 main figures and 350 pieces. The next set is Zoe and Zion the Cat Owl for $50. The Cat Owl looks good, but it looks like a $40 set. The next set is Izzy's Narwhal Hot Air Balloon for $16. This set looks good, and I think the Narwhal is cute. The next set is Mateo's Off-Road Car for $10. This set has some cool pieces and can be a car or a helicopter. The next theme is Lego icons, and the first set is the Bouquet of Roses for $60. I think these roses are beautiful and the techniques used to build them are great. The next theme is Lego Super Mario, and the first set is Yoshi's Excellent Forest Expansion Set for $10. This set includes two Yoshis and a Yoshi Egg. The next set is Dory's Sunken Shipwreck Adventure for $45. I think this set is pretty cool and they did a great recreation of the Cheap Chomp. The next set is Bowser's Muscle Car for $30. This muscle car looks pretty good, and I like the eyes. The next theme is Sonic the Hedgehog, and the first set is Knuckles Guardian Mech for $35. It comes with Knuckles and Rouge, and it looks like a good model. The next theme is Marvel, and the next set is Spider-Man's Mask for $70. The printed pieces in this set are great, and overall, the set is great. The next set is the Motorcycle Chase, Spider-Man vs. Doc Ock for $10. This set looks good, and I like how Spider-Man has arm printing. The Venomized Doc Ock is pretty weird, but it looks good. The next set is Spider-Man vs. Sandman Final Battle for $38. This set is a bit expensive, but includes a brand new Lizard minifigure and can combine with the Spider-Man Final Battle. The next set is the Spider-Man Race Car and Venom Green Goblin for $35. Another weird Venomized villain, but all I can think about is how that banana piece would be good for LEGO Mario Kart. The next set is the War Machine Mech Armor for $15. The helmet looks good, but I think the rest of the minifigure is too small for War Machine. The next set is the Venom Mech Armor vs. Miles Morales for $15. The mech looks good, and I like the Miles Morales. The next set is Rocket's Warbird vs. Ronin for $38. This set looks good, but is definitely a downsized version of this ship. The next set is the X-Men Jet for $85. Finally, some X-Men sets with some cool minifigures. But there should have been Jubilee, and that would have made this entire set worth it. The next set is Rocket and Baby Groot for $60. This is a weird one, but the Groot minifigure is adorable. The next sets are keychains, starting with Loki for $6. This keychain is cool, like the next one, the Spider-Man keychain for $6. This one has some arm printing and looks awesome. Awesome. To go with it, we have Ghost Spider for $6. This one includes the hood, but no printing inside the hood or on the arms. The final keychain is Groot for $6. The next theme is Minecraft, and the first set is the Frock House for $55. This set looks like a good one, except for the gaping hole in front. The next set is the Nether Portal Ambush for $38. I thought this would be $35, but I guess not. I like the gas and the hoglin, but not the price. The next set is the Turtle Beach House for $27. Should have been $25, but the actual set looks nice. The next set is Steve's Desert Expedition for $11. I like the Phantom and the Camel. This next set is part of the Legends sub-theme. It is the Devourer Showdown for $45. This set looks weird, but I like the bird. The next theme is minifigures, and the first set is CMF Series 25 for $5 each. These minifigures look good, and this black and white minifigure is pretty cool. The next set is just a 6 pack of these CMFs for $30. You get 6 CMF packs, and for $5 each. The next theme is Monkey Kid, and the next set is the Megapolis City 5th Anniversary for $190. This set has a lot of pieces and minifigures. I like the style of buildings, and I think it's a good deal. Next is May's Dragon Mech for $100. The mech looks cool, and the set only comes with 2 too many figures. At least they have leg and footprinting. Next is the creative vehicles for $35, which you can make into three separate vehicles or one vehicle. Next is the Monkey Kids Mini Mech for $55. This set looks pretty cool, but pretty small for $55. The next theme is Ninjago, and the first set is Egat the Master Dragon for $70. I like the old dragon, and he kinda looks like Master Wu. The next set is Kai's Elemental Fire Mech for $30. This set has four mini figures and is customizable with the other mech sets. The next set is Cole's Elemental Earth Mech for $20. This mech looks cool and is another customizable set. The next set is Jay's Mech Battle Pack for $10. Four minifigures and a build for just $10. The next set is Sora's Elemental Tech Mech for $20. This set looks beautiful with the Japanese vibe to it. The next set is Kai's Rising Dragon Strike for $10. This set is cool and includes a lot of large pieces. The next set is Aaron's Rising Dragon Strike for $10. It comes with two main figures and some cool accessories. The next set is Nia's Rising Dragon for $10. Some cool colors and custom molds. The last Ninjago set is Aaron's Battle Mech for $16. It comes with three builds and a lot of accessories. 
The next theme is Star Wars, and the first set is the Clone Trooper and Battle Droid Battle Pack for $30. This set confirms that helmet holes are going to be in 2024, sadly. But Super Battle Droids are back. This set also includes a staff, and the whole Battle Pack gives off 2007 vibes. The next set is the Crimson Firehawk for $50. The Firehawk looks good, and this set includes three cool minifigures. The next theme is Technic, and the first set is the Mac LR Electric Garbage Truck for $33. This looks like a really nice garbage truck, and I like the recycle sign. The next set is the John Deere 9700 Forge Harvester for $40. This set looks good, and the harvester actually works. The next set is Noam McLaren Extreme E Race Car for $27. Now this is what Technic is to me, some good old pullbacks. The next set is the Off-Road Race Buggy for $20. Not a pullback, but a good model nonetheless. The next set is the Heavy Duty Bulldozer for $13. This is a good $13 set to go with other Technic construction vehicles. The next sets aren't part of any theme and are still releasing January 1st. The first set is the Cherry Blossoms for $15. This set looks beautiful and is a great deal. The next set is the Hedgehog Picnic Date for $13. The hedgehogs are cute and some cool pieces are included as well. The next set is the Spring Animal Playground for $13. This set includes a campfire and a seesaw. The next set is the Japan Postcard for $15. This postcard looks very good and I like the Japan in the front. And that's all of the sets coming out in January of 2024. My favorite set of the month is the Polaroid Camera. It's a great set and I like it a lot. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye! Thank you.